Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the uh, crossbar retainer. This is for an oval bar application, and an oval bar would be most commonly like a Jackson crossbar exit device. Those are generally oval bars. Uh, Dormatic uh, likely has an oval bar model. I'm pretty sure it's oval. Uh, Sierra Lawrence, uh, Jackson, Sierra Lawrence, those names are somewhat interchangeable. Um, and what this is simply going to do is allow you perhaps a more robust way to keep your exit device dogged or a way to keep your exit device dogged where you don't need the hex key or if it were to be a device that had cylinder dogging, which I don't think any of these crossbar design would ever have cylinder dogging, but it would if it was a round bar. They do make round bar versions of these. You know, you didn't want to have to deal with that pesky key, whether it be a, a hex key or a, a typical pin tumbler key, or you have an exit device and you can't get the parts to correct or to repair the failed dogging feature to it, which is, is possible. Um, this allows you to just simply and easily lock that over it's going to have a retaining pin that's going to keep it locked on the oval bar, a spring-loaded pin. It's going to have the ability to tailor its projection, okay, by means of how you set that. And I don't know the right mechanical engineering term for this functionality, but where you set this rotating pivot point with that inserted roll pin that's there is going to allow you to really detail exactly the throw, if, if you follow my meaning. What it's... You know, the relationship from the face of the door to where that oval bar is going to be when it's completely depressed. So you can tailor that. You know, what looks to be, well, it would just be where this pin is now to where that pin is at that point. So maybe about a half of an inch. They also have an extension that's available to build this off the door further. Should you need that, reach out to us. It's a separate product altogether. Um, this is in just machined aluminum finish and I would say an anodized uh, type of finish. It's going to include two fasteners. It will include an Allen wrench. Well, the two fasteners are quite obvious what you're going to use that for. Okay, The Allen wrench is once you figure out the exact projection, underneath you'll be able to tighten those set screws that are there and then, you'll, then it won't rotate anymore. Um, you won't need to do that. And generally, I find the folks that are looking for these types of devices have extreme high volume on their opening. Lots of people back and forth. A lot of people that would need to be able to dog the device open. This last pair that I sent went to a large, large church. And, you know, it just makes sense. You've got, you know, a couple of thousand parishioners coming in, maybe twice a day, and you'll have stewards you'll have you know people giving directions and answering questions and you'll have other people volunteers let's say on the church staff on sunday and yep the masses are coming let's just get those aluminum exits dogged you don't have to hand somebody a hex key where did the hex key go i don't know i lost it it's stripped out it's worn this is easy and it's a great idea in the sense that you don't need to cycle that exit device every time you want to exit Okay, whether it be egress or ingress, if you, well, the ingress is going to be retracting the latch, but you're not cycling the device. You're just pulling or pushing the door to get it open. So it goes without saying that this is expressly prohibited from being used on a fire rated door. Um, keeping your exit device in the unlatched condition would be thoroughly in, in counter to established uh, code and standard for fire rated doors. So obviously non fire rated doors where this is going exterior opening full glass aluminum doors narrow style possibly that's another thing that we have to be extremely mindful of. Um, where are you going to install this? So if you have a narrow style aluminum storefront door that has an inch and a half style it's not gonna work because you don't have enough room to get this installed so you're going to need to be mindful of Where's you'll and you'll have to determine this at what point how far over from the edge of the door am I going to be able to get the hold the retainer held onto the oval bar okay and how far over will I move that will I have enough door left 
in my opinion, you're going to need to be dealing with wide style type of applications. Wide style would be like a six inch style. The width of the mounting plate on the back or the base is inch and five eighths by two inch. Just holding it in this orientation, I would say you have a maximum reach to the center of where that oval bar at about two and thirteen sixteenths. If I take that pivot point and rotate it 180 degrees, I think we're going to be down to about two and a quarter. Okay, so I said about a half inch. Yeah, sure. So let's switch to the screen view, and I'm basically just going to show you a photograph that a client supplied to me of this item actually being used. So let's do that now. If you've not hit subscribe yet, we would very much appreciate if you did, and hopefully you're enjoying this video. Now, let's get back to it. Okay, here is the item actually in use. That is probably a medium style door where it's about four inch, is gonna be my guess. Uh, but as you can see, you know where you're installing this is gonna be the limiting factor. Do you have enough room? And this is exactly what the client ordered, okay? This is what it's used for. Recycling that door hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. So saving the wear and tear on that device is pretty crucial. There is, as I said earlier, a round bar design. You're gonna be thinking of your, Von, obviously your Von Duprin 88, 55 by Von Duprin. You're gonna be thinking of, I think the Yale 7100. Yale has a crossbar. The 1500, forgive me. Yeah, the 1500 device, okay? You're gonna need a wide style on that. You're gonna need plenty of room, you know, but if you're dealing with a commercial grade exit device, that you're seeing on doors that aren't aluminum storefront, you're likely to have either a lock rail here or you're gonna have plenty of room to get that installed. Um, these are just sheet metal screws that are included. I don't see that being really a problem. I don't sell these very often whatsoever. So I don't have any experience of whether just using sheet metal screws works long-term. You could always use a machine screw and a riv nut. You could always through bolt it should you need to, but there you go. You can see this client obviously has set that projection point based on where that is in the retracted, depressed sort of condition, the dogged position, I should say. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. If you have any questions on our oval crossbar retainer uh, or the round or the shim that would go along with that, reach out to us. This product is not yet fully immersed in our site with the extended description information. Admittedly, I may get a call for this once every five years and hopefully the item is still available when you need it. I had honestly reached out to the manufacturer and their website is down, but there were still a couple of these on our shelf. So it worked out for the client. Hopefully it's available when you need one. Uh, and we'll go from there. So any questions on this crossbar retainer or any other exit device question, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.